Hi there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay and welcome to my channel. Now, those of you that have been following me are probably wondering why the heck I have a topic like how to make hand sanitizer. And one of the reasons I did it is because I realized that a lot of people are sidetracked right now. Um, I know you're here usually following me because you wanna know how to create a business online and get that financial freedom, maybe even retire, not have to worry. But right now there's something going on in our country across the world, actually, and people are getting scared. Um, they're wondering how they're going to get food and, um, you know, sanitizers and things like that. And what kind of sparked me to come up with this recipe and share it today was my husband and I were sitting there watching the news this morning and a lot of people were just emptying the, or emptying the stores out in certain parts of the country. There were toilet paper, hand sanitizers and things like that. And we started talking and we said, what would we do if that happened in our area? Like what, what is the alternative? Because we haven't run to the store and we haven't stocked up and, and done anything like that. We pretty much live in the country. So we live with a stock of food and stuff. That's just how you live when you're in the country um, because you don't know if there's going to be a snowstorm or something and you can't get out. Um, we have a driveway that floods and there's times we can't get out for three or four days. So we're kind of prepared a little bit, but what about, um, those of you that are, you know, starting to get worried, you know, how am I going to get things? So we just started talking like that. What would we do? And I thought, well, I would find a recipe and make it myself and not have to rely on going to the store and buying that hand sanitizer. So that's why I'm going to share that recipe with you today. Um, same thing with toilet paper. You know, I, I, we started thinking we got all these old towels. We'll just cut them up and use them, you know, and, and, and try to make it work. And we still have our washer machine and we can sanitize with the laundry detergent and things like that. But what I want you to do if you're not following me because of my business and, and you want to, you know, create a business online and you just want that recipe, then down in the description, I have a timestamp of when I share the recipe. So just skip over this part and go right to the recipe. I don't want to waste your time. Those of you that follow me, I just want to use this as a, a mindset type of thing that may help you you know, get through what we're going through right now and still continue to keep your mind set on building your business, if that makes sense. And one of the things that I, I just, I guess I just saw relationship in this and how we operate in life as business people um, and in catastrophes and everything else. I hope this is you. Um, but one of the things that I always think when something bad is getting ready to happen or possibly could happen, I always think what is the worst thing that could happen. And I want you to think of this with the virus and I want you to think of this even with your business. Keep this type of thought going. But what's the worst thing that could happen? And then I list those things and then I come up with solutions to those things. Um, I remember years ago when I was younger in my 20s and I remember, you know, I think a lot of us speed <laughs> when we're young because we don't care. We don't think about consequences, but I did start thinking that way. I, I can remember um, I had to be somewhere and I knew I was speeding. I, I knew and I kept asking my, telling myself, what's the worst thing going to happen? Okay, you're going to get a speeding ticket. Are you willing to pay the price? And I was like, yeah. So then I went and sped. But that's kind of the, the, the thinking of this. Like, what is the worst thing that's going to happen and how can I solve that? Um, with the virus and everything the worst thing that might happen is we may all be quarantined into our homes for a month or two or am i prepared for that am i prepared with the things that we need to live for the next you know four to eight weeks or whatever it is you know and and my husband and i started taking an inventory what are some of the things we need now we didn't want to go crazy either because we don't want to deplete um, supplies for other people, but at the same time, what do we need to make it and what can we do? And I want you to think of that even with your business. Like, what is the worst thing that will happen? Maybe I go out and I start a YouTube channel and I work really hard for six months and I'm posting videos and content and I'm just not getting the growth I want. And I want you to keep looking at things like that and thinking, what can I do to fix it? What can I do to solve that problem? And that mindset is what helps people to be successful, not only in their business, but in their health um, and in their financial resources, um, in their relationships. You always have to think, what can I do if this is going to happen and what can I do to make it better? And I want you to think of another word along with that. What action can I take? So let's assume we're living today in this possibility of being 
quarantined, okay? Let's think of that worst case scenario. If that's what we have to do to keep people safe, then that's what we're gonna do, right? We, we're gonna do it and have a good attitude about it. And now you're thinking about, okay, but I have children at home, um, you know, what am I going to do about that? Use it as a positive. Like maybe this is a good time for you to connect more with your children and have that quality time that you've been yearning for, right? You've been running around like crazy, running to all different sports events, and, and there's just never been any time to really connect with the kids and have that quality time. Well, use that time to do that. Um, you may be thinking, okay, I have a couple kids in diapers. What am I gonna do? There's not gonna be enough. Go out right now and buy some cloth diapers. Or if they're gone, I don't know, I haven't checked, but if cloth diapers are gone, start looking around the house. What can I do instead? I can start making them out of old dish towels or old towels that I can cut up. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't panic and think the world is coming to an end. You know, the world as we know it. Um, start thinking about how can I make it in these circumstances? And if you can have that mindset in this situation, what's going on, I want you to transfer that same mindset to your job, um, to the business that you're trying to build. Because life was never meant to go smoothly. It's never, I think you figured that out by now, that every day you don't wake up and everything is wonderful. There's always gonna be those bumps in the road, those um, challenges. And instead of thinking, oh, poor me, what am I gonna do? Start thinking about what is the action that you can take. And today, that is one of the actions we can take is we're going to make our own hand sanitizer. Because I know just from listening to the news, people are going crazy, um, afraid because it's it's being gone on the shelves. Well, we'll make some. Um, I have some links below with the ingredients that I'm going to share with you now. And I've also um, got everything down below. You can order it still on Amazon. But if you just take two thirds of a cup of 99% rubbing alcohol and mix it with one third of a cup of 100% pure aloe vera. And like I said, they're down below. So don't sit there here and write it out. But if you mix them together in a bowl, and then if you and then you can put it into a hand dispenser you might have i've got an old one right here okay we we refill our hand dispensers all the time until they get kind of yucky and then we throw them out every so often and get new ones but you have probably something laying around um i also have a link down there if you need to buy empty bottles but i wouldn't recommend that i would just get an old soap one and, and use that but mix up your concoction and then put it in there and then you can use that as your sanitizer those ingredients it has to be 99 percent rubbing alcohol and it has to be 100 percent pure aloe vera gel okay so don't go get a spray bottle or something like that um if you like your lotions to have a little bit of a, a scent then you can put eight to ten drops of essential oil fragrance in there and i've got a link for that as well i did not i just went with the plain old you know <laughs> rubbing alcohol and aloe vera now i want you to be careful rubbing alcohol is very very drying to your skin so if you've got sensitive skin you might want to put some plastic gloves on or maybe ask somebody else to mix it or just be really careful when you're doing it and then the gel is what's going to kind of give your uh, moisturize your skin uh, mixed in with that alcohol but be really careful when you're mixing it um, because it is very drying and can be damaging to your hands and i don't want that to happen to you but there is an action that you can take in the midst of what is going on okay and feel good about it and i want you to i'm doing this on purpose because i want you to see that it's not ever um we're never ever ever going to be in situations where we can't take some type of action i don't care how bad it gets but you can overcome it and figure it out and do something to make it better and so if you're you know freaking out right now and you're worried about your kids your your work and things like that just go with it each day and take an action that you can take to make it better and do what you need to do and and i you know you're every this old this too shall pass like everything else um we hope it passes quicker than it you know it looks like it's going to grow and get worse first but you need to take that time to take take the actions that you need to take to protect your family and be prepared and then see the blessing in it. Like I said, um, you might have more time together. Take advantage of it instead of, um, you know, being all upset and stressed out. Say, okay, we've got food. We've got, you know, a way to make diapers and hand lotions and uh, sanitizers and, and whatever we need. 
now let's just take this time and reconnect and and spend some time together. All right. I hope that was helpful. Like I said, I typically, those of you that watched all the way through, I typically, you know, don't give recipes like this, but I just wanted to use it, give you a little gift. Cause I know um, a lot of people are worried. Um, and, and the, the supplies are still there with Amazon. We can still pick them up. Um, maybe you're watching this and they're gone. That, that could happen. Um, but maybe you have some of these things around your house um, that you can make them. Or if you're quarantined, you might not have to worry about it. You may already have some Clorox wipes or something. But this is for those of you that wanted to make sure you were prepared and you were worried that the supplies have ran out. All right, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you are looking to start a business online, I have lots of videos about how you can start an affiliate marketing business. I also have a free ebook that I offer down below that'll help you get started with four simple steps. It's a starter guide. There are lots and lots of steps to always have to take and you always have to dig in with more depth, but those four steps will help you take that um, first foundational level steps that you need to get started. So make sure you check that out. It's free. Just hit the link below and I will see you on the next video.